I don't, I don't care about nothing. Okay, about. we're live. Wow. Thanks. usual uh, we're working on the technical aspect of things right up until time so hopefully you're tuning in it's what we're all used to now I hope everybody's well we've got a couple of friends in the studio socially distanced tonight which is exciting it's nice to play for real people and um, I need to pick this show is uh, brought to you by the Kimberly Art Center in Kimberly, British Columbia. For those who are tuning in around the world, it's in the Kootenays, beautiful part of Canada. And um, their art center has been kind enough to hire us to play uh, a live stream. And we're really excited. Um, Factor, the foundation to assist Canadian talent on record, is also helping out. And we really, really appreciate that. So we're going to start off with a few songs from a record called Me in the Mountain.
watching stones roll by Yesterday I felt 19 years old Today I'm 35 It's me and that old man Thinking about my love Stone clouds keep on piling up deeper Today I don't feel much of doing I was dreaming about you leaving me just staring at the wall. That stone horse was laughing at me, wanted me to fight. Telling me I'm sinking down, well I knew that the rock was right. Take my hand, I feel you slipping, and I know. Take another phone call We're talking through a screen We are falling through the spaces in the screen Every day I'm slipping Just a little more off course Still looking out for all the signs Doesn't matter where you've been but Don't discriminate religion Or the color of your skin Cause it'll come to you in daylight Or in the cover of the dark A bonfire just waiting on A loser's dying spot So take my hand I feel you slipping Thanks. Thank you. Kate, my manager, can you text me and make sure everything's working, please? Let me know. It always feels weird when you're broadcasting to the internet and you're hoping that it's working. And uh, here, I'll try to watch. Okay. <laughs> And we had, uh... uh... This one still says waiting. Oh, that's good. <laughs> waiting for the Do you have to, like, click go on the YouTube one, maybe? I don't think so, no. I think it's, uh... Hmm. There's a link on our... F the l I just posted a link on Facebook. I can see it. It looks like things are happening now. There's a bit of lag. Oh, okay. Well, that's good.
No, like, 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 like Okay, like someone's just texted me and said it's great. So okay, that's good. the most yeah. important thing. <laughs> Thank you. Is it credible? When I wrote this song, um, um, every once in a while I'll, have a, I'll write a prophetic song where things uh, I'm writing about come true. And um, I wrote this song with uh, Old Man Ludica. And it's about, uh, uh, I guess, the end times. And little did I know it came true. Here we are in the end times. There's a great line in the, um, in the song where he talks about uh, all the rich people flying in their private planes to New Zealand, which is apparently a thing. When the, when the world ends, all the rich people take their private planes and fly to New Zealand. I don't know what happens in New Zealand. We have a, uh, uh, we have a theory that's got something to do with the time change. <laughs> Maybe they get to miss it or something in the time change, but... When the world ends, Rylan, let's take our tour van and drive to New Zealand. That's right. I've got a plane, but it only seats four. Yeah. It's called the Great Unraveling. <laughs> My traveling companions are 935. We are living in a bunker, glad to be alive. We prep for living a year or more since we turned the crank on that big steel door. Well, I heard about the rich folks with the private planes that flew to New Zealand when that shit began and they lived with their pilots.
We have a new video that came out today, I think. Did anybody see it? Yeah, I agree. He did? I did. Okay. 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 Cool. Um, I've been, I've been, uh, me and my family have been moving out of our home and studio for the last week. So if anybody's moved, um, they know that it's hard. <laughs> add kids and then add like a second house that's the studio. My brain is, is kind of mushy. So um, I asked uh, my manager, Kate, to, and my uh, publicist, Jen Fritz, to roll out the video. So I think it came out. Tyson said he saw it. Um, it's called Mercy, and it's been, um, it's footage from us traveling around the world for the last two years, and I like to joke that it's the most expensive video, that I, music video I ever made. <laughs> um, it was a lot of flights and hotel rooms. Everything was on location. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and it's us traveling around uh, Europe and the United States and, uh, and Canada and um, it's called Mercy, so check it out. It's great. We're going to play the song now. One more, I think. Can you see? Oh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> it's my bachelor. He can't go over again. <laughs> He's been helping me move, too, so. <laughs> well, I'm dreaming of a song. Baby's crying. Something's wrong I could use a Little mercy To come my way Another highway Another tour Where's my heart at? I'm not sure But I'm asking Little mercy On my way Well, last night, um, we were over at some friends having drinks, and, uh, well, I haven't been home this long in years, really, uh, for obvious reasons, but usually this time of year, I'm on the road traveling around, and I've been doing that for almost 20 years. And last night, she had a couple drinks, and she let it slip. She kind of said, uh, well, it's been nice having you around, but, uh, yeah, I kind of wish you'd go back out on tour. <laughs> Every once in a while, so. 
You know, I just got that same thing. <laughs> From my wife? <laughs> hey. I have to spend any more time here. <laughs> We're gonna do a song called Hey Hey. This is a song that I wrote um, uh, in memory of a great Canadian singer-songwriter named Gord Downing. Um, and if you're from Canada, you know who I'm talking about. If you're from America, you might know who I'm talking about. If you're from Europe, you probably don't know who I'm talking about. But he was uh, uh, kind of our country's poet laureate, rock and roll po poet laureate in a lot of ways. And um, I got to, uh, to meet him a couple times and he was a real beautiful human being with uh, a great soul and just uh, a poetic way of being. Um, so if you've never heard of Gord Downey or his band, The Tragically Hip, go check it out. So this one's called Hey Hey, Song for Gord. I think I can remember how to play it.
key of G. I'm going to do a song from uh, the Me and the Mountain record. And uh, so I wrote this record at the Banff Center for the Performing Arts um, a couple years ago now. I was there for three weeks for a singer-songwriter residency, and uh, there was these great faculty members. And one of the faculty members was uh, is a great singer-songwriter named Kim Ritchie. And she's from Nashville, Tennessee now, I guess. Um, and I brought this song into Kim to help me finish, and she, she had some great ideas, and she sang along with me, and I, she's just got the most beautiful voice. And I said, oh, I gotta record that with Kim. And she was kind enough to go into a studio in Nashville and record the vocal for it, and, and I think it just turned out great. So, Ryland will be playing the part of Kim Ritchie tonight. <laughs> He's not as pretty, but he does his best, you know. That's right. I, I did my hair and I'm bathing more. <laughs> so. This is about, um, it's a song about being torn between um, what you feel in your heart and what you think you're expected to be as, a, you know, in society as a man or a, um, a husband or a father. Um, and wrestling with those the push pull of of a career and for me a career in the arts where you know it's not always the most lucrative and I'm away from my kids a lot so you're wrestling with this idea of following your dreams following the artistic muse and being there for your kids to watch them grow up which is really important for me as well so just constantly walking that that um, tightrope of of those of you know those branches of life that uh, come across your path. So this is called Caught in the Middle. I'm caught in the middle of what I want and what I think I should be. It's a twisted trail but the path Never wrong in the ocean's pull is strong to guide me home. Sometimes it hurts, you can't go on. And the easiest thing to do is play along. I'm
it be? Thanks so much. It feels good to play music with, uh, with your friends. Searchlight. And this is a song, uh, kind of about suffering in a lot of ways. Um, I think uh, everywhere um, I go, uh, without exception, there's people, I see people suffering everywhere. And um, you know, it's a, rel it's a relative thing. And I think, um, it's important to, uh, you know, we have to, this is a strange time in the world right now, but for me personally, I think um, what's become abundantly clear is just how interconnected we are uh, with each other as human beings, with, with Mother Nature, and, um, you know, that includes the animals and the water and the environment um, and it's important to honor that connection and um, uh, to you know to rise up and, and help each other out because a lot of people um, you know they don't want to be uh, connected but we're connected you know mm -hmm. connected <laughs> Our 
Like it always did before Like it did in West Virginia Like it did in Birmingham We are standing on the brink of some dark shore Search light, search light Watch this all go down. I wish for nothing more than peace in my time. I wish for nothing more than peace in my time. Searchlight. Thanks so much. Once again, thanks to the Kimberly, Kimberly Arts Center. We were supposed to be playing there in Kimberly in August, was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, here we are. This is the last uh, uh, show for us for a while at the Rebel Tone Ranch. This is our recording studio that we built from the ground up and uh, about five years ago. And um, we packed it all down and took all the stuff off the wall. And we put a, well, we put a couple paintings up for the show tonight. But um, so this is it. We're out. We leave here on Monday, so it's kind of bittersweet for me and the, the guys here. We've made a lot of records in here for a lot of people and for ourselves, and uh, so it's a really nice way to come together and um, play acoustically in the space one more time for us. So, and we've got a couple friends here tonight. We've got you guys uh, joining in, and it means a lot to us that you're tuned in. So thank you very much. I'd like to introduce the band on the keyboards. This is Mr. Michael Ayad over here. On the, on the mandolin and other things. Um, you did bring your banjo. I did, good. I have it. Is I it tuned? If, it is. Oh, good. I don't know if we need really? it. Really? Yeah. Ah, well, I'll, I'll find something for it. This is Mr. Rylan Moran over here. <laughs> on the drums, this is Kyle Harmon from Nashville, Alberta. And everybody knows Mr. Tyson might go on the bass guitar. How you doing back there, Kyle? Real good. Yeah? Oh, good. Good. You look good. Oh. It's all the soft light. Um the f the five of us have been playing music together for a long time, so there's a lot of history on the proverbial stage tonight. Um a lot of fun times, a lot of traveling. Uh, I was telling a story to uh, some other friends last night about um, when we didn't, uh, when we almost didn't get onto the BC ferries to go back to Victoria. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> Sometimes just, just the van that quits. And... So basically, what happened? I'll tell the story. I'm yeah, yeah. Tell the story because it doesn't make sense. I was, I was hoping not tell it. Um, we got to the fair. Our van was causing troubles all day. We had to leave Kelowna first thing in the morning to catch a ferry to do a benefit show in Victoria, BC that night. So we got our van to the ferry, but what happens was when it runs hot, you couldn't turn it on. So we got to the ferry, shut it off, had about 45 minutes, thought, well, surely it'll cool off by then. So the ferry, they call us to get on the ferry, and we go to start our vehicle, and nothing's happening, just nothing. The guys are like, come, what is happening? So I look, and my little brother was with us. He was having a smoke out the passenger side. And I looked in front of us, and there was this big jacked up F-350 from Al Alberta in front of us. And I looked at them, and I looked at my brother smoking, and I was like, Donnie? <laughs> if I know anything about Albertans, A, they love to help out. B, they love to tow shit. <laughs> I said, Donnie, go ask those guys if they'll tow us onto the ferry. And Donnie's like, yep, right, I'm on it. <laughs> so he goes up to the guys, and I, I swear, it's like, I guess it's like the Wetaskiwin fire drill. The, all the doors came open. <laughs> These dudes get out, go straight to the back of the truck, and he's got a tow rope, of course. And they're hooking it onto our van, and away we go. We're towing, um, and we get... 
to the uh, we get at, to the bridge as we're getting onto the ferry, and I could see this guy with a yellow vest, like kind of looking up ahead. And he starts going like this, and he's like, <laughs> "No, no, no, no!" And I'm thinking to myself, and so right then the tow rope fell off because I got confused, and then the guy stopped, and then I see this guy running towards us, and he's like, "No, you can't!" He's like, "You can't tow somebody onto the ferry." And I'm like, mister, we got to get on this boat kind of thing. He's like, you're not getting onto the boat. So the poor guys from Alberta, they drove off onto the ferry and we're stuck on the ramp to the ferry. Nothing. Everyone's like, we're, come on, we're going to miss our show. And nothing, nothing, nothing for like a good five minutes. And they start to like, I see them start to like get the ropes and stuff to like start to close the doors. And all of a sudden, like our van, El Lobo Blanca, fires up. <laughs> run this big F3, E350 diesel engine and I throw it in drive and I get on the horn and I'm, and I'm out the window. I'm like, we're coming on, <laughs> we're coming on. And the guy's like, gets, he kind of jumps out of the way and, and uh, we get on there, we kind of A-team it into the thing. And uh, everyone's cheering because they see what's going on. The guys from Alberta are so excited. <laughs> We gave him a CD, actually. We gave him a CD. <laughs> really, they even had a big Berta sticker on the yeah. back of the window. It was, it was as Albertan as it got. Yeah. It's true. I love Albertans love the toe ship. I think if that were in a movie, um, this is the only time I think you would have been cast this way, but I think only Chris Farley could do the yell out the window. Yeah, the but it we're coming like, on! We're coming on! And just... Horn blazing, and there were people in the back like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so good. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sadly. Sure. He was my favorite actor as a kid. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, here we go. Song off our latest record called Strange Path. It's 
one of, I think this is probably my favorite song that ever kind of came through me. And it's called Mother. And it's about the uh, metaphorical and proverbial mother in a lot of ways. So I'd like to send this one out to my mom. out there are taking care of the, of the planet.
There is a way home through the darkness of the night.
it all came down to them all you would you stand tall and fight in the fields of this radiant land sun's coming up Sun's coming up, casting golden shadows and filling up the skies of the west. And our love for this radiant land. There once was a time. This river ran clean, and the air didn't smell a fear of gasoline. And the children play barefoot in this radiant land. Watch the Holy Mother just lay down and die. You call this freedom, you call the Shuradian land. Well, she's gone. Going down, casting darkness over that goddamn prairie town, selling darkness for soil and the blood of this radiant land. So come, gas. From wherever you roam And admit that the waters around You have grown And soon you will be drenched to the bone And if your time to you is worth saving well, then you better start swimming or you sink like a stone for the times they are changing and for the times they are changing for the times
wild horses want to run, baby. Uh, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in from uh, all across the globe, I'm sure. Um, uh, we want to thank uh, the Kimberly Arts Center for, for putting this together. Um, we'll hope to see you guys in the flesh, uh, I guess, next year sometime. And we want to thank Factor for, uh, for um, helping us out as well. Uh, this is the Rebel Tone Sound, and this is the uh, Rebel Tone Ranch. We're going to leave... We're going to honor the studio with a with an old song of ours. A lot of music has filled these walls, and and um, I think you were telling me that sound waves don't ever uh, dissipate. They yeah, just... um, scientifically, and if somebody can refute this, you know, please comment so we can turn those comments <laughs> off. But sound waves don't actually ever um, disappear; they reduce by half after a certain like this a certain amount of time. But then you can't reduce something in half. Okay, Bill Nye, tie it into some poetry yeah. and the Well, sorry, right, so uh, everything that has ever been played in this studio will remain here forever because nothing ever disappears. Yeah. Mm. So, that is good. <laughs> I've never been called Bill Nye before. That's <laughs> Thank you so much. This is called Beautiful House.
This is our house, beautiful house. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.